The Minions. They're short, cute, funny, and everybody wants to be friends with them. That's why here today at Channel Frederator, we are going to be listing off 107 Minion facts that everybody should know. I'm going to warn you now, at the end of this video, you're going to be really sad you're not friends with a Minion. <laughs> Number one, most of the minions are actually voiced by the directors of the Despicable Me films, Pierre Coffin and Chris Minal. Look at that guys, fact number one, and I'm already pronouncing names wrong. Ah. Feels good to be back. Number two, Chris Renault is American and Pierre Coffin is French, which is one of the reasons why minions sometimes have different accents. Number three, a surprise for Flight of the Concord fans, Jermaine actually provided the voices of minions Kevin and Jerry. Number four, minions only have three fingers on each hand, just like raptors. Sounds like the next Jurassic movie should probably give them a call. Jurassic World, Minions Gone Loose, starring Shia LaBeouf. Number five, minions have become the official mascots of Illumination Entertainment. Number six. So far in the Despicable Me films, there has been five different minion hairstyles, including being bald, because being bald is a hairstyle. <laughs> Get these guys a hairstylist. Number seven. Taller minions all have the same haircut. Number eight. Talk about an all-star cast. The Minions movie features big names like Sandra Bullock, John Hamm, Michael Keaton, Steve Coogan, and Jennifer Saunders. Who could resist playing a part alongside the yellow guys? Number nine. Minions could survive in outer space. They don't need oxygen to survive and are resistant to freezing. It's kind of like they're a superhero. I'm looking at you, Marvel. Make it happen. Number 10. If you pay attention to the minions' teeth in the first two Despicable Me films, you'll notice they have slightly crooked teeth in the first and straight teeth in the second. Number 11. It may sound like the minions are speaking gibberish. <laughs> But they're not. They're speaking Minionese. Number 12. Minionese is a mix of French, English, Italian, and Spanish. With a hint of Korean and Russian tossed in. Number 13. When you listen to the Minions talk, you can catch words from other languages. Including Kanpai, which is cheers in Japanese. Kanpai! And Paratu, which is for you in Spanish. Toma. Number 14. The Minions' appearance was partially inspired by Star Wars' Jawa and Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory's Oompa Loompas. Think we'll get some musical numbers? I don't like the look of it. Number 15. So far, Minions have only had male names. They are Dave, Stuart, Kevin, Jerry, Tim, Mark, and Phil. Number 16. To promote Despicable Me 2, Chiquita Banana printed off more than half a billion stickers featuring Minions to put on their bananas. Man, that's adorable and filled with potassium. Number 17. Minions love love bananas, it's their favorite fruit. Number 18. No, seriously though, they love bananas. Number 19. Their second favorites are apples and papayas. Number 20. A large blimp in the shape of a minion was created and flown around the US in order to promote Despicable Me 2. Number 21. At that time, it was only one of 15 airships being flown worldwide. Number 22. The creators of Despicable Me have said that minions were written into the film in order to make Gru a more likable guy. Guess what? But it worked. Number 23. If you're wondering why evil minions are purple, it's because purple and yellow lie on opposite sides of the color spectrum. The more you know. Number 24. According to Pierre, the minion population stands at 899 minions. Number 25. Pierre will be voicing each and every minion in the upcoming film, Minions. Number 26. Minions don't like when they're unsure of things. Number 27. Minions also don't like it when Gru leaves their questions unanswered. Answered. <laughs> Number 28. Evil minions are created when minions are injected with the mutagen PX41. Number 29. Evil minions were designed to be indestructible. They're immune to flamethrowers, guns, axes, and undercover police cars. They can even swallow bombs. Number 30. Despite their psychological differences, though, evil minions love bananas as much as their yellow counterparts. Number 31. There are at least two minions named Kevin. One of them has one eye, and the other one has two. In the comments, section down below, comment which Kevin you think has better depth perception. Uh -huh. Number 32. Also, there seems to be more than one fill. The more fills, the merrier, I always say. Yes, I always say that. Number 33. The average minion is 105 centimeters tall. That's about 3 feet and a little over 5 inches. Number 34. The poster for Despicable Me 2 apparently has more than 10,400 individual minions on it. Now, which one of you guys are willing to count them and confirm? Number 35. We love them tiny and ram 
rambunctious, but the minions were originally going to be giant orc-like brutes. As time passed, they got smaller and smaller because Gru needed to be more sympathetic to viewers. Number 36. Coffin said the easy solution was to actually have him surrounded by incompetence. <laughs> Number 37. Another early idea for minions was to have them be human-like henchmen, but the studio didn't have the budget for that. Number 38. You can get a taste for what it would have been like though. In the start of Despicable Me 2, there are human and yellow jackets speaking in a foreign language. It's a homage to the original henchman design. Number 39. The minion Bob has heterochromia. Each of his eyes are a different color. You know, this reminds me of somebody in being Puppycat. If anybody watching knows what I'm talking about, we here at Channel Frederator, love you. Number 40. The short orientation day suggests that minions were created from a single strand of mutated DNA that transformed into one cell organisms. Number 41. With help from the minions, the Despicable Me movie has grossed over 1.4 billion worldwide. Despicable Me 2 was the third highest grossing film of 2013, behind Frozen and Iron Man 3. Number 42. In addition to the main films, there are seven seven short films that feature the minions. Number 43. Minions have one purpose in life. They're meant to seek out and serve the most despicable master they can find. Number 44. Minions evolved from yellow single-celled organisms to their current pill-like forms. Number 45. They've existed since the beginning of time. Number 46. The minions can be connected with the accidental deaths of Dracula, Genghis Khan, Napoleon, and even T-Rex. Gru better watch his back. Number 47. If they go too long without having a master, minions get seriously depressed. At one point in time, they even isolated themselves in Antarctica in their sadness. Yeah. Number 48. The most popular minions video on YouTube is a compilation of some of their best moments. It has over 60 million views. Number 49. Following closely behind is a 14 minute long minion rendition of Banana to the tune of Barbara Ann by the Beach Boys. Number 50. Despicable Me merchandise makes no small amount of money. You can pick up your own fart blasters or goggles to match your favorite minion. Number 51. Minions love to sing. They've covered songs like I Swear, YMCA, and Barbara Ann. <laughs> Number 52. If you're also a fan of Dr. Seuss, keep your eyes peeled during an early scene of the film, The Lorax. There's a minion sitting around in a junk drawer. Number 53. True minion fans should catch the closest flight to Universal Studios in either Florida or Hollywood so they can take a ride on Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem. The ride features all new and exclusive animation sequences featuring the original voices of the characters. Look out, minions! Oh man, we're halfway there. And I feel like we just got to know each other. I'm starting to get sad. Remember to check out our store stash right after this video to load up on some awesome Federator gear. But let's get back to the video. Number 54. In the ride, Gru has a gun that can turn people into minions. But as listed in an earlier fact, that's not how minions came to be. Number 55. Minion mayhem has you complete minion training inside Gru's lab. Number 56. When Gru's speed dial is shown in the first film, Dave and Stewart, two of his minions, are included. Number 57. Interestingly, one-eyed minions are usually of the shorter variety. I'm thinking that one eye is really heavy and it just ruins their spine. Don't you hate it when that happens? Number 58. It's unknown whether or not minions have a gender. Number 59. It's also unknown how they reproduce. You know what? I think one day we'll find out if the minions are ever in a horror movie. Yep, I'm not going to sleep tonight. Number 60. In a testament to their popularity, Minions have been licensed by a number of companies including McDonald's, Hasbro, and General Mills. Number 61. Despicable Me 2 was the first Universal Studios film since Jurassic Park that had both McDonald's and General Mills marketing it. Number 62. Before Gru, the Minions served female supervillain Scarlet Overkill. Number 63. Minions can double as glow sticks. Give them a crack and a shake and you can be all ready for a Minion rave. Number 64. There are hundreds of Minions, but only around 48 unique appearances combinations factors into height, build, hair, and eyes. Number 65. Though they're simple-minded and incompetent, Minions have been seen building weapons, operating said weapons, using computers, and even 
driving. Rambo, watch out. Number 66. Minions call apples babbles. Bat bit bo butte. Number 67. For the second film in the series, the Minions models were redesigned. Number 68. The funny little henchmen are considered to be the scene stealers and breakout stars of Despicable Me. Number 69. Minion quotes have become a popular internet meme. Number 70. You wouldn't expect it, but Minions do enjoy some refined activities like the fine arts. Number 71. On the other hand, they find anything involving booties to be hilarious. Bottom. <laughs> Number 72. They also like spitting, frog legs, bunnies, and building things. Number 73. In Minionese, gelato yeah, means ice cream. Yeah, Number 74. Bananas are so important to Minions that the word makes reoccurring appearances in the Minionese language. To say I'm hungry in Minionese, try the phrase we want bananas. Number 75. Ugly is banana nanal. Yes, you heard me. Banana nanal. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Number 76, the minions originated from the water, which sounds about right when you consider that historically most species did. Number 77, the producers of Despicable Me 2, John Cohen, confirmed that minions are multilingual. They can speak English, Spanish, French, Greek, Korean, and more. Number 78, did you know that there's a free minion app called Minion Rush? One of the game's mechanics is collecting bananas. Everybody comment banana, 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 banana. Number 79, one of the minions' favorite phrases is Baidu, which means I'm sorry. If I pronounce stuff wrong, guys, Baidu. Number 80, Gru has some rivals in love. The minions David and Stuart both have crushes on Lucy Wilde. Number 81. Kevin, Bob, and Stuart will be the main minions in the Minions film. Number 82. They've been designed to resemble Gru's daughters, Margot, Agnes, and Edith. Number 83. The minions were originally going to be genetically modified corn kernels. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's really weird. Number 84. The new movie coming out is connecting the minions into a pre-existing race that has been around since the dinosaurs. Number 85. Auditions for the minions were were held during the end credits of Despicable Me 2. Number 86. The minions love, love, love to play, especially with Agnes, Edith, and Margot. Aww. Number 87. Each movie in the Despicable Me film series has ended with a minion dance party. Here's to many more. Number 88. An app is available that will translate the minions' dialogue during the original film's end credits. Go check it out and let us know what you think. Number 89. The minion Mark is often dressed as a mom. Any sometimes referred to as Mom Minion. Number 90. When the Wi-Fi is down, you'll want to look for Kevin, the minion who manages the wireless network in Gru's house. Kevin, the Wi-Fi is out! Number 91. The Minions film will take place in 1968 with the settings of New York City and Mod London. Number 92. Minions will be Sandra Bullock's first time playing a villain. I love you, Scar! Papella. Number 93. For the premiere of the Minions film, Sandra Bullock rocked a Minion-inspired pair of heels. Ten replicas will be auctioned off for charity. Number 94. In Minions, the Minions attend VillainCon, which bears a slight similarity to San Diego's Comic-Con. Scarlet Overkill's presentation even takes place in Hall H, which is the hall used as San Diego Comic-Con for major events. Number 95. With a runtime of one hour and 44 minutes, the Minions movie will be the longest despicable me film to date. Number 96. The minion rendition of I Swear is jokingly called Underwear because of his introductory sequence. Number 97. A series of comics and graphic novels based on minions will be published by Titan Comics. They launch on June 17th, 2015. Hey, that means they're already out. I'm gonna go check that out. Number 98. The minions sing a minionese version of the Irish drinking song, which is surprising seeing how the original lyrics for the tune aren't exactly kid-friendly material. Number 99. The DJ booth belonging to the DJ Minion at the end of the first film is labeled Gru Ray Disc. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> we made it, guys. Number 100. The behavior of an evil minion in Despicable Me 2 is a spot-on match for that of Donald Sutherland in Invasion of the Body Snatchers. <laughs> Number 101. A scene with a row of minions sitting and eating lunch together on a girder is a replica of the famous photo, lunch atop a skyscraper. Number 102. In Despicable Me 2, evil minions swarm over a wall. Look familiar? Maybe because the scene was inspired by a similar moment in the film World War Z starring Brad Pitt. Number 103. During the ice cream party in Despicable Me 2, a minion can be spotted pole dancing 
while another minion slaps his friend's butt. Number 104, a scene in the first film where the minions cheer for Gru from their control room is probably a homage to Apollo 13. Number 105, if you are already feeling like the minion movie coming out on July 10th, 2015 won't be enough to satisfy your craving for banana loving henchmen, fear not. Despicable Me 3 has been confirmed for a 2017 release. Number 106, the minions were created by French art director Eric Guillaume. You go, Eric. And number 107, evil minions were inspired by a cartoon featuring Tweety Bird. The canary drinks a potion and turns him into a monster. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you like the video, don't forget to like the video so we know that you like the video.